I'm cold, by the way, in case you're wondering about all this. Hello, and welcome. Two, a two versus two, RT, on Warcraft 3. Yeah, you're gonna get it. And I've got Undead, so I'm happy about that. I see how imbalanced Undead are in a two versus two. Let's have some of that. Okay. Probably wanted the crit first, so I've already messed up. That's alright. I'm used to messing up, and I'm incredibly hungry, so whether I win or lose this, I don't care. I'm going for some food after this game, because I'm starving right now. But it just takes so long to find games, specifically 2 versus 2 games, which is another reason why you don't see so many of them. Is because I... I don't know, it's like 10 to 12 now, and I started searching about 11 o'clock. I got a couple of games, but they were over in like a few minutes, so there's no point playing. It was really weird. You could probably level up a lot easier on 2 versus 2, because people seem to leave a lot in it for some reason. Or at least that was my experience today. I gladly obey. Where's my ghouls, bro? They're not going to be out for a while. No barracks? Maybe a tech up. Beyond scout. Almost there with the crypt. DK can just harass, I guess, and maybe I just go straight up ghouls and tech to frostworms or destroyers. I'm not sure what the enemies were. I didn't pay attention, so probably should have done that, but never mind. Demon Hunter. At last. Actually, a lot of people get dust of appearance, so I'll fall in line with that. No one's creeping that. As you order. I hope it's a human. Although he might have an arcane tower up already by now. My patience has ended. You call. Oh no. What are you? My vengeance is you. Ah, I thought you might be undead. Okay, that makes it incredibly hard to harass, but okay. I'm gonna kill your cigarette. What are you gonna do about it? Nothing. Idea. I might use my tricks from Tower Island. Go for a sneaky uh, expansion. I think it's very unlikely that the enemy would ever try to find it. So it's kind of like a guaranteed expansion as far as I'm concerned. In case you're wondering, I have no idea on how to play 2 versus 2. It's quite a different game to 4 versus 4. I don't really feel comfortable in it, but I'll give it a go. Be 
Doing fine for resources. So we know the night elf and undead. Really? Oh no way! No way would you ever go here! That is fucking hard map pack! You would never go there. Never in a million years. I just don't believe that. My life for this. Our town is under attack. That is the biggest load of map pack I've ever, ever seen! You would never do that! Never! I think I can handle him, but this is retarded. That is some super hardcore map pack. Wow. <laughs> oh my days. Oh, I'm dead. I'm dead. There is a lot of hack going on this game. You would never, ever, 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 ever go out of your way if you were on this right hand side to go down here and sneak down there past those mobs. You'd never do it. Never. Just too unbelievable for words. I think I might go abominations. I don't know what my ally's doing actually. All oh, right, I see golems want to fight today. Fair enough. This is pretty retarded. And now both my allies are. Oh. Well, I think my expansion is gone. Can I say that much? This is a huge advantage for them with their powerful map pack. What do you do against that? What do you do against such strong map pack? Is there anyone that doesn't map pack these days? I'll be interested to know. There's no way in a billion years you would ever go there. Out of all the options and all the places you could go, you just wouldn't do it. You would not do that. Oh, okay. Maybe yet, because my ally just left. I don't blame him, to be fair. Well, okay, so that's a billion percent map hack from inline there. You never, ever, 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 ever do that. makes it so pointless playing against hackers trying to do anything clever.
Your build, Your build is, is complete. complete. Your building is complete. Your building is complete. Our allies' town needs help. So I'm going off down to the bottom left. Fog of war on. Zero visibility of that going on. You would never even assume that. You wouldn't think, oh I know what the undead's doing right about now. He's going to the corner expansion. No, you would never think that. Never in a million years. Ah! <laughs> Motherfucker! Pinged right there. And what's there? Me. What's this? Fog of war. Fuck these hackers. Fuck them. Right. That is disgusting. In line is the motherfucking hacker. Report them, do what you like. Doesn't matter because it won't do shit. You could send this into Blizzard and they would go, I don't care. Like Pink's name. They don't care. Which is the biggest shame. It's the biggest shame in the world. That is Bullshit! Well, I'm going to get some food. I'm fucking starving and I'm pissed off, so... Yay. There's your 2 versus 2. I'm going back to 4 versus 4. At least if you get hacks in 4 versus 4, it's less consequential. Because there's more people, so someone having map hack is going to have less of an impact on the game. Because there's so many other people in it anyway. But yeah, in smaller games like 1 versus 1 and 2 versus 2, map hack reigns supreme. The only chance that you have is that the majority of map hackers are shit players. They are bad. And I think we still could have possibly won that if Orange stuck in the game and we just tried to play normally from that point onwards. We would have had a massive disadvantage, monumental, but I still think we could beat them because most map hackers are generally shit. Because that's why they map hack, because they're crap players. So they feel the insecure need to map hack because they haven't got a big enough dick. So have fun with that. And if any of you map hack, go fuck yourselves too, because that's obviously disgusting to have to even play against that. To even have to witness that is bad enough. Fuckers.